Joining us now from Paris is David Lubeck. He's the Deputy Chief Financial Officer of Casino Group. But Mr. Lubeck, thank you so much, as always, for giving Bloomberg a little bit of your time. What are you telling investors today? Thank you, Francine, for having us, for having me here. Uh, what I would like to tell investors is that the S&P statement uh, in no way reflects on uh, the, any deterioration of our business. Quite the contrary, the S&P uh, statement commends us for our good operational performance, our strong momentum in sales, and our uh, very good results in H1, which was plus 10%. Their uh, change in rating just uh, stems from uh, a change in methodology. They now take into account the CDS of our parent companies and the level of our share price, but it does in no way reflect any deterioration of our business. And actually, I was quite pleased to read that in their statement they even wrote that we had uh, strong operational performance, right. particularly in France, compared to our peers. I mean, this must, must put a lot of pressure on you, right? Because you're also battling the short seller Muddy Waters, which has taken aim at your complicated financing amid some of the brutal price competition that we're seeing in France. Do you have to sell assets? How much? And do you have buyers for them? Uh, sorry, I just didn't hear the, the, right, the end of the question. You said the, the question is, you, you have a 1.5 billion euro asset sale plan. Do you have buyers for those assets yeah. you're selling? Yeah, sure, sure we do. Uh, as we said, when we presented the H1 results, we have had already some uh, very nice indicative offers. And uh, we are uh, committed and we are very confident to deliver our 1 billion debt reduction this year, which will, of course, be largely uh, finance with this asset deposit and also by our uh, cash flow generation. But as we said, um, and that's why we were so confident in maintaining our 1 billion debt reduction from 3.7 to 2.7 billion at the end of the year, uh, we are extremely confident on the uh, ongoing disposal plan. There is absolutely uh, no, when do you think no question about this. When do you think that you will be disposing of them? Will it be by the end of this year or will it take longer or will it come sooner? What we said is that we plan to do at least half of it before the end of the year. And when we say before the end of the year, uh, we will be, uh, of course, uh, mm. um, we will be able to announce it uh, as soon as we have the definitive offer. But uh, it's, a, it's a very confident view that we have based on the discussions that we are having right now. And just so to make sure I understand, that's why that, are that's the, the assets, reason why. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, are, are the assets um, real estate? Some of it is real estate. We disclose that, of course. Uh, some of it is not real estate. And the part that is real estate, um, what we see is that we're, get, we're getting excellent prices. Um, that's usually what we get when we sell our uh, real estate. Uh, uh, real estate properties mm -hmm. and uh, things like 20 to 25 years of rent uh, is the value of our real estate so it's uh, it's it's going to be uh, quite relative